Yes, guys, that's right. Minecraft Lego has released new summer sets, guys. So, here we go again, I guess, guys. So, yeah. Summer 22 Lego sets are now officially revealed. So, let's, guys, make it day real quick. And basically start, guys. So, as you can tell, we have five sets. And basically, this is the best Lego wave yet. So, guys, consider subscribing because... It take like one. It took like one week for me to build all of those sets. So yeah, guys, consider subscribing. Okay. Anyways, guys, let's start with the first set, I guess. So the first set that we have in this wave is the bakery set number two one one eight four. So basically, yeah, guys, this is basically the smallest set out of all the five. Okay, I won't spoil anything. Just this is the smallest set. So what do we have here? Is a cake, a cookie some bread you know like basic structure like trading house we have you know three block bed you know guys uh, lego uh, lego building techniques in minecraft are um doesn't make sense you know sometimes it doesn't make sense at all so guys we have one traveler i mean you know lego minifigure whatever you call this player and basically guys, if you're wondering what the hell is this well it's basically diamond sword so guys, I have my texture pack on, so it looks like it's like some kind of, I don't know, like a medieval sword from like ancient times, I don't know. So guys, and as you can tell, we're getting so many first firsts here, such as goat. Yes, we're getting goat in this set, which is basically really amazing, I guess. It's really good. And basically, yeah, that's the only th first here, the only one. Also, we're getting Creeper, which is good, I guess. I don't know, we're getting it for like 16th billionth time, I guess. And as I already told, we're getting Traveler, and I love his position of arms, like his swinging and the Creeper. Anyways, guys, we have a Villager, as you already noticed. This Villager basically is a farmer, as you can tell. Basically, this, this whole thing is in snowy biome, because, you know, there are goats, and basically, as you see, in Flatport, you can't, like... Uh, represent that so yeah on the oak villager and guys surprisingly if you can hear this is the screaming goat like eight zero point eight percent chance goat or something it's it's a rare thing trust me and basically guys we have some crops going on and we have some sugar cane so basically pretty standard set is gonna be retailing for twenty dollars pretty pretty good set not gonna lie I mean there is nothing much but I guess it's a good starting set so next up we have set number 21186 and this is the Bastion. This one is personally my favorite and the cheapest set. Why? Well, you're about to see. Let's go here. Generate the world. And here we go guys. So basically, just quick disclaimer. This part isn't gonna be like in the set, you know. It's it's too much. So basically, guys, everything uh, we, what in this lava pool... It's basically gonna be holy what the hell not this thing this thing won't exist in the set Yo get away what the hell get away what the heck I'm jackal looking guys okay let's go oh my gosh I forgot it's, it's those annoying slimes so as you already guys as you can see this is the bastion set and basically guys I know I know you probably you was probably thinking that oh my gosh we're gonna get like two hundred thousand pieces set like uh, the biggest set of all history, <clears throat> but no, we're getting this set. This set basically um pretty um medium. I can't say that it's big or anything. We have TNT for self destruction. I don't know why. Uh, ask Lego. Also we have a gold block which is related to the bastion. And we have this uh, blackstone structure. Not not big structure, not gonna lie. I don't know why we have here and here, like, you know, basalt and stuff. It's kind of sus. So basically we have a chest with a bunch of netherite and a netherite sword, which is really good. And we have piglin brute here, as you can tell, guys. It looks uh, very similarly to the one that, that, you know, that we had in the game. And we have in the game them. It looks very similarly, and basically we're getting a player, basically in, in armor. I mean, guys, uh, this is not diamond armor, right? This is just dyed armor. I know it, it looks like a diamond, but trust me, I was too lazy to dye ar in armor, all right? This took like a week to build, and I was lazy to finish it, all right? So, guys, yeah, as you can tell, his, his 
white clothes. He has a fishing rod with a fun guy upside down. I don't know why. And he has another red helmet. And of course, a strider. Like, uh, why would he need this fun guy on the stick without strider? So we have strider here with the saddle. Really cool details that they added there. Really cool. It looks very similarly to the one that we had. For and basically, we have new magma cube textures. I mean, I can't show. I can't really show them right now because you know it's Minecraft. So you guys, also we have another world growing, so, another world growing. So I guess it's a good set. It's uh, that bastion that I like the most. It's like housing one with another world. Or guys, whatever guys, comment below. Uh, what's that type of bastion with another world? I just I forgot. Is it housing stables? It's not treasure, I know, but I literally forgot. Okay. Anyways, guys, so basically this is a really cool set. I don't know how it's gonna be retailing, but this set is really cool. We're getting piglin here. You know, if, if you were put blocks, we're getting, you know, basil delta a bit. We're getting soul, soul sand, soul fire. So we're getting so many furs here, like seven or something. The set is really cool. I recommend it. It's pretty cheap because, you know, it's medium. And I guess without further ado, Let's move on to bigger ones. Alright guys. So let's clear the weather and go to another set. So basically now we have set number 21186, the ice castle. Yeah guys. This set is really big and oh my gosh. It's good. It's so good. So guys, first up we have four enemies in this set. Yeah guys, four. Four enemies. Like, that's really exciting. Because we haven't got that much since 2015 or something, I don't know. But it's been a long time. So we are getting a zombie with iron helmet. Also we're getting a zombie with an axe. Iron axe, so you know, you can simulate Lego Minecraft speedruns now with iron axes. Also, we're getting, you know, just a casual skeleton and a second skeleton in here. So, guys, and why is this nice castle? Well, guys, obviously it has eyes, you know. It has soul lanterns to better fit the ice textures. It has some trurals, I don't know what they're, what they're filled with. I think slowness arrows, because, you know, I mean, in in snow binds we have trays. Trays shoot at you. Snow slowness arrows, so it kind of makes sense. Sadly, they're not loaded right here because you know, I mean, you know, I don't have time to load it in. <laughs> also, guys, we have this uh, watchtower which apparently uh, you can shoot your enemies uh, down there. Okay, so guys, now let's go to the walls. Let's look at the walls. We have pretty standard wall, I mean, something that noob would build. In his snowy taiga biome. This is really cool. I mean, you can't really say anything. It's a very cool set. And also, guys, we're getting so many minifigures here. We're getting a yeti. Yeah, guys, that's a yeti. It, it doesn't have, you know, like, iron armor. It's just dyed armor. As I already said, I was too lazy to paint it myself. So, guys, we have a yeti. He's holding a crossbow with an arrow. I don't know why I charged it with firework. So yeah, we're getting it and he's putting directly at the zombie. I mean, not actually directly, he's aiming at the sign, but I guess. And we're getting a warrior with diamond sword. As you can see, he has like gear and stuff, you know, dyed armor. And he has diamond sword. And most importantly, guys, we're getting anvil here. Because if you didn't know, guys, anvil... Existed in one set, the Sky Tower, which was ridiculously expensive. So now we're getting this thing in, I guess, in a cheaper set. Also, we have here a brewing area with some dyed water. We have also brewing stand with one potion, like that, which does nothing at all. We can climb up in here. We can go down. We can go right here, and we can climb this ladder. And boom, we're at the top. So no mobs can get us apparently. Yeah. Like, no mobs, it's like halfway opened, no mobs can get us. So, guys, now about the main thing about this set that I personally like. So, guys, the main thing is this shield. This shield. This shield is basically my favorite thing. Why, you might be wondering? 
well you see guys it's it ain't just a regular sheet shield it's textured shield from java edition so if you take a shield and combine it with this exact banner you're gonna get that shield it's really awesome sadly we don't have anything in this chest so you know it's sad but it's really it's really good detail that they added that shield with the banner it's really cool we're not getting this sheep so why are you here i have no idea get away okay cool I mean, not cool because we killed so many animals. That's kind of brutal, you know. Okay, guys, so basically, this set is very accurate. It's very good. I mean, fits Minecraft style. There are no like game breaking blocks that Mojang usually places in their sets of Minecraft. So, as you know, this set is very good. You can't say anything that is bad or anything. It's pretty standard, uh, medium slash big set. You know, pretty standard. So let's move on to the the pretty set I've seen here in a while. Two one one eight seven the burn. This set looks amazing. I mean, you, you look look at this. This is a little barn. Lego is now officially building better structures than me. Like like bruh, this looks so good. We're not getting animal this time, sadly, and I don't know why there's a fence. So guys, let's take a look at this barn uh, more carefully. So as you can see, we have pretty standard build. We have amazing roof, literally amazing roof we have here. I would literally live at this barn, to be honest. We have some crops uh, going on here. We have full composter, some flowers, you know. It's all peaceful and stuff. It's really good. Really good set, I'm gonna lie. So now, let's go inside. And boom, your mind blown. Why? We have a goat here, we have a horse here, and it's my trusty steed, Fernando. You can judge it, alright? It's Fernando, you can judge it. So we have, uh, wait, what, how, how did they take it? Okay, guys, so we have a farmer which is doing something, I don't know what he's even doing, he's trying to, you know, learn combat or something, I guess. So here is a farmer with red clothes and basically a head. I wasn't too lazy to die it, you know, because in Minecraft there is no red armor. That's basically the whole reason why I died it. We have a cow, which named Animal, I guess. And basically, yeah, guys, this farm is very good. I mean, so many details in here, like the lanterns, flowers, stone. Actually, not game-breaking farms, so you can actually rebuild it in your survival Minecraft world. And basically, it's really good set. I would call it medium slash large, pretty successful set. It's gonna age well. Really good set. So now, what's in here? Well, here we have a bunch of uh, blue wool, or that's a bed. I don't know exactly. We have a lantern here on top of those. This is stripped uh, birch planks. We also have a chest here. I mean, we should have a chest here, and that's. Kind of suspicious that we don't have a chest here. Well, I guess we should have a chest here, and I don't know why don't we have it here. Like, that's very suspicious, so let's go ahead and place boom boom. Who said there is no chest? Literally, there's chest right here. And I didn't just place it, alright? I didn't just place it. It appears here magically. So, guess he, so guess, as you can see, we're getting some hay bills, stripped birch logs lanterns so some details milk bucket cool building so basically yeah personally i rate this set 7 out of 10 really neat set nice details i mean really good set i would recommend it because it's very very good and it's simply without any questions the best lego wave so far so now guys we're gonna go to the most mind-blowing set you could ever seen in your life. Look at this. Take a look at this set, guys. This set is absolutely incredible. It overcomes the meaning big. This set is truly gigantic. This is a llama, by the way, if you didn't know. Of course, guys, there are some game-breaking mechanics that I can't literally build. But this is llama, alright? This is Wandering Trader's Llama. It looks really good. Details are basically awesome. It doesn't have, you know, tail and stuff, so, you know. 
also you can ride it apparently if you go right here you can basically ride it go go uh, bring me somewhere i haven't been to yet but bring me somewhere oh okay i guess it's it isn't moving but it's really cool llama guys it's it's basically the biggest set of this wave and guys is it so now let's go to the inside because you know outside looks absolutely horrific absolutely ridiculous absolutely great so now let's take a look at some inside inside looks absolutely gorgeous you you can't even say that it looks ugly like every single ordinary Lego. Okay, that was a joke. Okay, so guys, we have here one bed, cyan bed. We also have second bed, red bed. We have a bunch of white candles, aka eight to be exact. And also we have a tropical fish aquarium. Like what Lego? You've overcome yourself with the amount of details you've put in this set. Like bro, look at this. We got two actual chairs. What? Good chairs, guys. You can literally see there. What the heck? Lego. Congratulations. You're getting better and better. Okay, guys. So, as you can tell, this llama thing looks absolutely great. Absolutely great. The amount of detail they put in here is absolutely ridiculous. Let's put this shovel away, by the way. And that's my trusty crossbow. That I like shooting out with. So now, guys, let's take a look at the village itself. Oh, by the way, bro, I forgot to announce the name of this thing. The Lama Village. I don't know why it says villager. The Lama Village 21188. Because basically, this set is basically the best set I've ever seen in my life. We have an acacia tree right here, which we only got in like a raid set like a year ago or two. Also, we have here a baby, pink sheep, I mean, I was too lazy to find a pink dye, so I did it in the magenta, you know. We're getting a voker for the second time. Also, we're getting a farmer, which is standing near this brown llama, which looks absolutely great. And also, we're getting a warrior with, as you can see, gray clothes and basically diamond sword, which is trying to hit this guy like, boom, like, boom. Okay, so now let's go to the to the village part. So we've seen these characters. We have, so guys, as you already guessed, we have two mini figures here. You know, like the first one is basically the normal farmer, and the second one is warrior, who's basically trying to beat the raid. And the way, guess if you don't understand who the heck is is this, well, that's basically a raid captain. Hello, hello, raid captain. So now let's go to the village itself. So guys, as you can tell, we have in here llama. I don't know. What what this is supposed to represent? But this is llama. We have a bell which is like on this mine shaft looking support. I guess it's it's a life support, guys. It's a life support. Support support the bell in the comments. It's absolutely good bell. I found it. I don't know even where. Okay. Anyways, guys, we go. We're getting some flowers. Hey, bell. A villager which got killed somehow. I have no idea how did he get killed or anything because, you know, it all like blocked off. Hey? Huh? What? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? Why can't I just, you know, place a villager there? Okay. So Okay, finally. Okay, guys, you can die, basically. Guys, epic combo. Epic combo. Epic combo. Epic combo. Epic combo. Oh, my God. Epic combo. Epic combo. Oh, my gosh, guys. No way. We're literally epic. Yo, Willajar. Nowhere to run. How didn't you die? By my, ro by my rocket launcher. How didn't you die? Hey, okay, run away, coward. Okay, okay, guys, sorry for that blinding. Bruh. Okay, so basically, that villager was a coward, I guess. So, guys, now let's move on to the next building and the last one we have here. Bruh, second villager died as well. 
Okay, so I don't even care anymore because you know it's like it's one villager, not much. So guys, we have a shop here which which apparently has nothing in it. Sadly, I don't know, Lego, why didn't you put like as as much detail as you did to the llama? I have no idea why. As you can see, I have like two hundred FPS. Anyways, guys, so basically my personal rating of this set is truly incredible. It's like eleven out of ten. This looks really good. The amount of deals they put in Llama is absolutely incredible. It looks like one by one replication of Trader Llama. And basically, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Having two characters, a literal raid going on. A village with some unknown, unknown to Minecraft structures. And a pink sheep. Baby pink sheep with like 0 0.28 chance of spawning. Absolutely amazing set. I give it 11 out of 10. Really good set, guys. I can't even lie. So, guys, as you can tell, this wave is really successful. This is the best LEGO wave so far. Yeah, guys, congratulations! 2022 summer sets are now officially revealed, guys. They're absolutely amazing. And basically, guys, leave a like and subscribe for more uh, LEGO reveals. And I'll see you next time. Bye.